Hello and in this part of the series we are setting up the wallpaper and also adding this cool animation right here. It's really easy to do so follow along and watch the end, to end of the video so you can learn more and also if you are new to the channel then subscribe and let's get right into it. First thing we'll do is install hyperpaper which will be our wallpaper manager for this installation. Now if you want to set up hyperpaper or a static wallpaper then obviously first uh, do the config file right here and yeah you do need it uh, for the animated part as well but uh, if you want to do the animated wallpaper then you don't have to uh, write anything in the config file you can just leave it empty so after getting some wallpapers now we can uh, go to the official documentation for hyperpaper and you can copy this line right here which is basically preloading a wallpaper and then setting it as your wallpaper now by default it won't set it up as soon as you save the config file uh, what you will have to do is set it up and then we have to uh, write a line in the hyperland config so it auto starts it as soon as the system boots up so all you have to do is write this line right here it's really easy to set up now every time you restart your system it will take the wallpaper to set up in the config file and set that as your wallpaper as you can see it's done so basically if you want to have static wallpaper that's about it you can stop watching the video right here but if we want to go a step further first we need to create a script file um, i was using chat gpt for this that is really easy now in here uh, make sure this part is fixed so you can remove this if you want to use it for all monitors or if you don't care which monitor the wallpaper applies to now that's a mistake i made which i will soon realize so after this I just save the file and then make sure to uh, chmod it so give it execution permissions and then we can run it and for me it doesn't work right here because <laughs> again i made the mistake of the wallpaper i spent way too much time trying to fix uh, f find out what happened and then after i finally realized i have to remove this part which says which monitor i want to set the wallpaper to now if i do this so it does so now as you can see it does work now that's about it now this is really tedious right we if we have to type in every time we want to uh, use the config file that's a bit tedious we will set up a a uh, config sorry a key bind a little later on in the video now we what we have to do is install sww so this basically after doing that we have to go into our script file and then change the last bit of command so these two lines here we have to change the we have to change these two lines and replace it with this line right here and then after that's done we need uh, sww daemon a demon whatever you like to call it and we need that running so what do you do when we need something running we need to add it to the config file so the hyperland config file we go in we scroll down and then make sure in the auto start section we add it to this section right here so make sure you type it correctly and that's it for the main configuration and now again when the demon is running it just works so now what i will do is actually go back to the hyperland config and then set a key bind so i wanted to use it with my windows and w key so as soon as i press this it will uh, run the script and change my copper, change my terminal so there we go we have to type in exec so go to the first and then exec and there we go that's basically the setup and after doing that make sure to remove this part from the hyperpaper config because if you leave this leave this in if the script won't work Now there we go. That should be about it. Now if we just re-log in, so log out and log in, 
now it should have this cool animation right here we can add more wallpapers like this and then you can go crazy on what wallpapers you want to use so if you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye